Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. This is uh, gonna be a let's play of Lost Eden, and uh, I'll speak again once we get past the unskippable introduction sequence, which I'm afraid is gonna be a bit loud. My name is Eloy, and I am old. These days, I'm content to look out at the world from high in the white arch. But, when I was younger, I traveled the world and saw many great wonders. And of all the tales I could tell, none is more wonderful than that of Adam, Prince of Mo. Once again on the rampage, thirsty for blood and carnage, their leader was the dreaded Marcus Rex. The years of uneasy peace had come to an end. that had once united humans and dinosaurs was lost, and none could stem the pitiless tide that swept down from the north. place of safety, the citadel at Mo, in the kingdom of Mashar. King Gregor, Adam's father, brooded within the castle's massive walls, unwilling or unable to see that Morcus Rex would never stop until the whole world lay bleeding at his feet. on the very day Prince Adam came of age. I had just arrived at Mo with grave news from the north. And so it begins, but first... Just a slight audio adjustment. This is the problem with the game. I cannot adjust the audio until we're actually in the game. Hence why the uh, introduction sequence was very loud. I apologize for that. Uh, but anyways, we are now in this wonderful little game, let's see, return, of um, Lost Eden. 
Basically, this is a um, RPG slash puzzle game set in a world where dinosaurs and humans coexist. To, cer to a certain extent, there are some dinosaurs that don't really like us. And there aren't that many humans left. We play as Prince Adam of Moe. And this feather. Which is you know, pretty much the heir of what's left of humanity. And... Um, Basically, uh, since it's an RPG, which is a fairly um, st streamlined RPG, um, you're not going to have too much divergent from, this, from the storyline. So, I, I'm, and I'm saying that just in case, if you want, ever want to buy the game, um, this is obviously going to contain spoilers. And I was so delighted to find this game all, over on Steam the other day. Uh, it is 23 years old now, about. It was in 95, I believe, this came out. Uh, but. For its time, it had spectacular graphics. <laughs> it might not seem that way to you now, but you'll see in a, in a moment as we start moving about here. It also had pretty good music, and all in all, I really liked it. And of course, it also had voiceovers, which was fairly uncommon in the mid 90s. Uh, it was pretty much on. Uh, you have to remember in 94, 95, that's when you finally got the, the um, C pro proliferation of CD ROMs, which. Made sure that games went from the storage of floppy drives, which held about 1.4 megabytes of that data, to a CD-ROM that held about 700 megabytes. So you had room for to cram in a whole lot more, lot more in games, including uh, ver verbal stuffs, graphics. Those things were pretty much impossible to add in a very condensed type of floppy drive. So, anyways, onwards with the game. Uh, let's explore a bit then. Uh, as you can see, one of the fancy things about this game, it has this cube, rotating cube, mouse cursor, which I absolutely adore. I don't country at the top of my head, I can't recall any other game that uses this sort of interface. But as you can see, it changes based on what we're doing and where we look on the screen. It is basically a movement cube and an interaction cube and all sorts of things. I'm gonna start moving. This is why I like the graphics in this game. So it is sort of a 3D world, essentially, that you're moving through. Uh, let's talk to the guy over here. I think he was gonna... Not leave King Orders! <laughs> uh, well, he's also one of the humanoids, I should say, in the game. Friend of ours. Adam! Counselor Monk look for you. King want you in throne room. Adam, not leave King Orders. Thug obey King. As you say, Thug. Okay, so we'll have to find some other way to go. Oh, this way. Let's see, these guys are not talkable, uh, not interactable. So I guess we're gonna head on to the throne room. Now, I have to say this it has been more than 20 years since I played this game last, so I don't remember everything. I remember a few things. So, we'll be stumbling, up, stumbling around as we go along here. Let's see now, which of these three doors was the throne room? I don't remember, was it all there? Let's try and have a look. Uh, that's not the throne room. <laughs> oh, I remember this guy. Exactly. He doesn't speak well. I think this one's the way to the throne room. Mm, there we go. Into the throne room. Ah, Prince Adam! It's a great honor to meet you! Look at Eloy, he's much younger now. <laughs> so, th that basically tells you he's gonna tell the story in the future, and uh, depending on how you play the game, it's gonna slightly change the story. Mostly it's gonna change if you die, so... Don't die. Adam, my son, I asked old monk to send you here. I fear this day of your coming of age will not be the joyous occasion we had planned. This is Eloy, and he brings grave news from the north. Eloy? My lords, the city of Shamar has been attacked and destroyed by the tyrant. The humans there have been slaughtered and taken for food. There are few survivors. Shamaha destroyed. 
It seems Morcus Rex and his Tyran hordes will not rest until the whole world has been turned to blood and ashes. You see the dangers which lie outside our fortress, Adam. Its mighty walls are all that stand between us and destruction. You must remain within the Citadel. This is my order. You are my only surviving child, the heir to the throne of Mashar. Your duty is here in the Citadel of Mo with your people. Never forget that your sister and your mother, my beloved Jelana, were murdered not more than one day's march from here. The same fate must not befall you. Okay, Pops, whatever you say. Uh, let's... I may visit you in your room later. I've been telling the king of my travels. How do you know? You are my only surviving child. The heir to the throne of Masha. Your duty is here in Mo. Forget your dreams of exploring the world. Uh, I will see what we do about that. Because after all, we have to save the planet, and save the world. Uh, we're gonna have a look in here. Because there are other people to meet. Ah, Prince Adam, uh, I know you seek knowledge of the world outside the Citadel. But do not judge your father too harshly. Your safety is his prime concern. It is a great pity that the science of building the citadels has been lost. For only with this knowledge can we stand up to the strength of the Tiran. But alas, your great ancestor's secret has been lost forever. Only here at Mo are we safe from Morcus Rex. If only the great secret could be rediscovered. Yes, if only. Can we sense what we're going to do, be doing here? Prince Adam, take Ooh. this talisman. It is my coming of age gift to you. It will give you courage. Ooh, courage. I'm going to need courage. I know you long to see the world. You have your mother's driving ambition in your heart. But you must remember, our enemies are everywhere and we lack the means to drive them back. In other words, if you find the enemy, flee. Anyways, as you can see, we now have an inventory down here, which we can interact with. And do things with, but we're not going to do that just yet. And of course, we can also see that the cube changes based on things around here. Let's observe. I'm not going to see anything now. This curious tablet was taken from Wukong, the captured Tyrion general whose roaring keeps everyone awake. I have studied the tablet for many years, but it remains a mystery. Does it now? Uh, let's see, there are other things too, let's see. I know you long to see the world. You have your mother's driving ambition in your heart. But you must remember, our enemies are everywhere, and we lack the means to drive them back. Uh huh. You'll probably repeat. Yeah. They will. They will repeat the lines if you have exhausted the dialogue. Let's see. You can also just approach this guy. Hello. Look at his pretty face. Here are your ancestors, embalmed for eternity, and here they will all remain until the citadel crumbles to dust or is captured by Tyran. So it's like our great great grand great great grandfather or something. Here are your yeah, yeah. ancestors. Embar Rather than bury them, we just, uh, you know, mummify them and put them on display. Lovely. The music changes. Oh, I love this. Uh, uh, I've said that before already. But I do love the music in this game. Forgive me for entering your room, Prince Adam. But I have a message which should not reach the king's ears. 
I wish they'd remaster the music and the audio when they uh, repackage this for Steam, but oh well. The female Dina wishes urgently to speak with you outside. She has unlocked the gate to the side entrance so you'll be able to slip out without being seen. It's my duty as a guest of your father to remind you of his wishes. <laughs> remind you of his wishes, but please, please go out and... I understand you're curious about the world outside. Perhaps you'll find this small stone of interest. Dina is waiting for you outside the citadel. Take, Take care, yeah. Dina is... Yeah. So we do have items here which you can interact with people. It was given to me by a group of nomads from the east. Allow me to present it to you as a gift for your coming of age. Uh-huh. What if I try to give you the medallion? A talisman of some sort, isn't it? I hope it brings you luck. <laughs> I hope so too, we're gonna need it. But anyways, uh, we're gonna get a ton, ton of objects which you can use to interact with other people. If you find the right person, that is. Or the right area. And I remember, I remember a few of the puzzles, but not that many. I mean, it has been 20-something years. Uh, was this a side entrance? I think so. Let's have a look. Adam, you have come. My grandfather Tao is dying and begs to speak with you. Let me take you to him. No one will see us. <laughs> and as you can see, now we've gotten Dina as a companion up here. That also happens. You're gonna have a small party of it eventually. And of course, the uh, this is gonna switch around. Uh, and of course, you can interact with our party by going here and talking to them. My grandfather Tao is dying and begs to. If we talk to ourselves, we're just gonna go back to the uh, basic screen. So I'm gonna make a save there. Just so we have one. In case I make some mess of my mess of this <laughs> right away. And let's see. And we pretty much have only one way to go, right? Straight ahead, out into the wilderness. Nothing bad can happen, right? There's Grandpa. Ah, you have come. And in spite of your father's orders, I respect his feelings. But there are things that I must tell you while there is still time. As you know, the Citadel of Mo was built during the reign of your great-grandfather, the architect. Now, he had a Saurian friend named Gra, who knew the mysterious secret of the Citadel's construction. But when the Enslaver, your grandfather, came to the throne, Gra was hunted down with the others. The Enslaver left him to die deep beneath the Citadel in the Crypts of Abandon. You must go to the Crypts. My granddaughter will go with you. She knows the way. And she understands those whom you may not. So we got ourselves an interpreter. Which is fine, we don't speak Dino for the most part. It is true. I have the gift of understanding those who speak in strange tongues. Gra is dead. But his secret lies with his remains. In the crypts of Abandon. You have come of age, Adam. You must do what your father has never been willing to do. Before I depart this life, I want to give you this shell. It is an object of power. Power. With it, you can call out to me in the Valley of Mists. If it is in my power to help you, I will. It is. The ancestors beckon me. Farewell, my children. 
It is curious how characters in video games and everything, everything else really, they have this impeccable timing of when they're gonna die. They just know. Grandfather Tao will know peace amongst the ancestors. He deeply regretted that your father refused to listen to him. But by your coming here, at least he died contentedly, with hope for the future. So much for mourning. Anyway, he's dead, so we can't interact with him anymore, but... Grandfather Tao treasured that knife. It once belonged to Gra himself, and bears his mark. The mark of Gra. Lovely. So let's just see, you know... Stab you. That's the proof. <laughs> like your ancestor, the architect, you are a builder of citadels. Okay. It reminds me of my grandfather. So now he's dead, so we can speak to him. Seek, and you will find. Mm hmm. Basically, when we interact with the object on ourselves, we're gonna. Yeah, we can do that too. So, whenever we want to speak to grandfather, we just use the seashell. And he'll try to. You know. Help us. Basically, he's trying to tell us, you know, go around and look at things. Seek, and you shall find. He's gonna give these hints whenever we're stuck. That's at least how I remember it. So we'll return to the Citadel of Atmo. And the side entrance. And we're back. So, let's see. Let's return home. And let's see... Yeah, right, this guy. I... I cannot follow you into that room. Its aura is so evil. Steeped in pain and suffering. I have never felt it so strongly. I only wish I had the courage to go with you. Uh-huh. Okay, so... The thing is, she's fearful of this room. Because of this guy. And if you look at the room, you might have an idea what sort of room this is. And that's why she won't... So, you've seen him. Mm -hmm. It's a shame he can't speak. He'd have much to tell you. <laughs> and now she's back in the party. But, hey, we got this locket that, you know, gives courage, so... I feel brave enough to go into the executioner's chamber now. Shall we go? Uh-huh, there's our first puzzle. So this is how the game works, basically. It, it is fairly simple. I th in, in, for the most part, it's gonna be simple, I think. But I'm sure I'm gonna be stuck, because I don't remember all the puzzles. But it is gonna be fairly simple. Now, of course, now we can be able to speak to this guy. I can explain what Jabba the Executioner says. When he was no more than a boy, his tongue was cut out by the Enslaver to silence him. He saw and did terrible deeds. He feels great shame. Oh, poor guy. Hodor has nothing on this guy. He is giving you a gift on this day of your coming of age. So we got a gift, and that is what? Uh, you can always try to... The Executioner said it belonged to one of your ancestors. One of the mummies in Monk's chamber. Mm-hmm. Did you have anything else to say? <laughs> <laughs> not a, not that much to say. Anyways, there's nothing more to do here. But I think we know exactly where that tooth belongs, because we've already seen that. So we'll have a look. I'm going on to Monk's chamber. Good day, Monk. You're looking well. Dina, it's too long since I saw you last. I heard your grandfather was ill. I hope he is recovering. Grandfather Tao's spirit has traveled to the Valley of Mists. Adam and I were with him when he died. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. We all respected him. Indeed. I know you long to see the... Yeah, yeah, he's still gonna harp on the same thing. But uh, we know where that tooth belongs, don't we? Hmm? Anyways, uh, we're gonna continue that next time. I think it's time for a break. We shall see if we... And I, I think we're gonna be able to play through this whole game because I don't 
think it was that long as far as I can remember. We'll see. Anyways, thank you for watching.